Hi friends and dear students. Today again we are going to discuss about polynomials. Polynomials or plus nine and ten. But today we are going to discuss about the zeros of polynomials. Zeros of polynomials. Polynomials. And the relationship between the polynomials, between the zeros and the coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. We assume and quadratic equation or quadratic polynomials whose highest x square plus twice x plus 1. Here, this one the coefficient of x square, 2 is the coefficient of x and 1 is the constant term. So now, we have to find out the zeros of this quadratic equation. In previous classes, we discussed about number of zeros of a quadratic polynomial. So, since the power of quadratic polynomial is 2, we have to number of zero is 2. So now we have to find out the zeros of the quadratic polynomials. So let us factorize it. So for factorize, we have to multiply 3 and 1 and we get 3. The factor of 3 is uh, suppose we have this one minus 1. So factor of 3 is 1 and 3. So highest x square plus 3 minus 1 x minus 1 and highest x square plus highest x minus x minus 1. From this pair we can come on highest x and here x plus 1 and from here we can come on minus 1 and we will get x plus 1 we can come on again x plus 1 and here is highest x and this is minus 1 so these are the two factors of highest x square plus twice x minus 1 now the zeros of the polynomials x plus 1 equals 0 and times x minus 1 equals to 0. So here x is equal to minus 1 and times x equal to 1 and this implies x equal to 1 by 3. So these are the two zeros of that polynomial. So polynomial, we have five already, the 0, minus 1, and 1 by 3. So now, sum of the zeros, sum of the zeros equal to minus 1 plus 1 by 3 so this is equal to 3 is the uh, LCM of 1 and 3 next this one minus 3 plus 1 so this is minus 2 by 3 so since our quadratic polynomials are highest x square 
plus y6 minus 1. So 2 is the coefficient of 2 is the coefficient of x and 3 is the coefficient of x squared. So we can write here this is coefficient coefficient of x and this is coefficient of x squared. Again, if we find out the product of the zeros, so you can stop the video for a uh, note. Now, the product of the zeros, product of the zeros equal to minus 1 into 1 by 3 so this is minus 1 by 3 so minus 1 is the constant term so this is constant term and 3 is the coefficient of x squared coefficient of x squared so dear students, thus we can prove or we can establish the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of the variable of an quadratic polynomial. So uh, you do as your homework for this quadratic equation twice x squared plus 5x plus 3 the relationship between the coefficients and the zeros. First, you find out the coefficients and then find out the zeros, then sum of the zeros and product of the zeros. The relationship will be automatically calm. So, thanks for watching. Thank you.